Are you calling Trayvon? Yeah. Hello? It's Trayvon? Yeah, it's Trayvon. What is it? It's Aaron. I need to talk to you about something, and I've been dying to meet you. Been trying to meet you for months, countless months. We've been planning to meet up. You've been blowing me off, and I need to talk to you like face to face. Are you able to do a, a Zoom? Yeah, I just really don't have time for it right now. Like, look at me. I just don't have time for it. Since you don't, you really don't have time for it. I'll just go in and just lay it out there. I got back in a relationship with my ex and we are now engaged and planning for a wedding towards the end of the year. But I had very strong feelings for you or have very strong feelings for you. And what I wanted to know was if you and I were something that was supposed to happen or just something that was just supposed to be overlooked. Wow. So would you, you want to leave him for me? I mean... Is there something you're hiding from me or keeping from me? Are you gonna leave your, your boyfriend for me? That's the question. I'll be willing. To, I'll be willing to see you if, if you leave your boyfriend. No, you're giving me ultimatums after the first time us being on the phone. I'm. You're giving me ultimatums. Let's just make a deal, okay? You willing to leave your boyfriend? Then I allow you to see me, and I'll tell you the truth. Everything. So sure, say yes. Say no. Yeah, sure. That's what I'll do. Okay, all right. It's a trap. He just put me in an ultimatum to leave my fiance. Because it's a trap. It's gotta be a friend. Did you recognize the voice? No. Harris is with whoever that right. person is and put him on the phone and he was probably telling him, just find this out. Right. I really just wanted to send him the link. Send him the link. What is your plan? If Paris pops in here, which I'm assuming he will, what is your plan? Uh, if this is him, um, it's gonna piss me off really like worse than what I am already feeling pissed off and angry and upset. Is a part of you still thinking that the Trayvon in the pictures is gonna come in the Zoom? Yeah, yeah. If it is Harris, of course I'm gonna be upset about that. So I'm hoping that Trayvon is actually the person in the picture or somebody else all together, you know? This is Paris. It is. So he says he's ready to talk. Are you ready? Hey, ready for it. Oh. Hey! What the f would you do some stupid like this for? Yeah, are you gagging now? Yeah. All you had to do was sit up and stop me in the house. What the f is this about? Pretend to be somebody else. We both lie in this relationship. I'm now, one listen. person. I introduced myself as Aaron, not as anybody else. Now, now listen to me. You 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 reached out to who? I reached out to Trayvon. Say say his name. Who did you reach out to? Just did you ever tell me extra. about Trayvon? Have you ever talked to me about Trayvon? What the? F You're a Trayvon fool. I want to go see if you mess around with anybody else in this relationship. I want to keep my eyes on you at all given times. Didn't I tell y'all he was crazy? I'm up here thinking that it's somebody that got me torn, like really got me torn between you and them and us getting mad. If you take the ring off, hey, you want to take off a ring, dog? Let me take off this. That's it. That's it. You ain't got to worry about no wedding. Everything could be canceled, dog. I could get a refund back for everything that I don't spit. This don't even make sense what you're doing. Now I'm trying to tell you if you just listen to me. Nah, I don't I don't I don't even want to listen. I don't even want to listen. Just listen to me. I can't keep do this. Looking at you Hold, on sense does that make? Hold on. Let's take a quick timeout, gentlemen. This is a very emotional, difficult discussion to be having. Clearly, you're both upset. Aaron, would you please just let Harris, tell his side of the story and, and try your best, even if you disagree with things that he says. You guys like to eat for lunch, then go ahead. Be my guest. So for the past, so the past nine months, I've been really contemplating on um, if Aaron is the guy for me. Um, I've been doing my pageants and my shows, and when I go out of town, I don't know what is Aaron doing. And so I created this profile when I seen him when we broke up. And he bit the bait. I was single. 
We, you, we were single, but we were still having sex, right? I was single. It was months before we got back together. Well, he, he, look, you can't necessarily blame him for talking to someone else when you guys were not in a committed relationship. But when we got back together, Eric was still texting Trey Vons. Right. Which he told was us. Was you or he, was you not text you, texting he, Trey no, Vons? He, he told us that. He told us the yes, whole thing. Yes, I did. And Trey Vons was you. Listen, Paris, no one in this situation is right. You're not right. Aaron's not right. Were you trying to create an emotional connection with Aaron, or were you just trying to trap him this whole time? I wanted Trayvon to come in place to know what is Aaron doing when I'm traveling to Atlanta, when I'm traveling to Jackson, Mississippi, and performing. Aaron can't go. I want to know if Aaron, if he won't go out and seek others. I just want to know. I'm doing, I just need. If you wanted to know what was I doing, get you a nanny cam. I really honestly wanted to know if he liked this person before I could know my security in my relationship. So I have been catfishing him. My best friend been joining me on to, to help me. Is that the person that Aaron was talking to on the phone as Trayvon? Yeah, it wasn't his voice. It was my friend Rico, Cedric, to make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. When I'm going out of town and I can't text you anymore or whatever, I will have Rico. I will have him be texting. You tell said he won't be getting no more chicken wings here. Look, if Aaron wanted to be sleeping with somebody else, he would have been doing that, but he wasn't. He was texting with a guy because he felt that there was a really strong emotional connection. And yes, that still feels bad, but that other guy was you. And you may not have been able to give him the emotional connection he was getting from Trayvon because you were guarding yourself because you knew you were the one he was cheating on you with. If Trayvon had disappeared when you and Aaron got back together and you had, had put all that energy into being both Paris and Trayvon emotional in one perfect package, things might just be perfect. So I agree. I'm not excusing that Aaron should have stopped talking to Trayvon. But you played a very large part in both creating and continuing this problem. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.